Hey everyone, it's Oliver. So I'm in engineering, but I'm also extremely interested in finance and accounting, as you may have been able to guess from a couple of the videos on my channel. So naturally, someone like me who's interested in finance happened to get interested in wondering how many engineers actually end up in the finance field. So as you might expect, computer science or software engineering graduates are the most likely to end up in finance. Meanwhile, people in civil engineering are more likely to end up in civil engineering rather than switching over to finance. According to a study done by Indiana University where they looked at 70,000 engineering graduates, around 7.4% of computer science grads go straight into finance, meanwhile only 1.8% of civil engineers go into finance. Additionally, if one of these engineers double majored in a more finance related field, this showed that they had a higher propensity to make a move into a finance related field or to be interested in more non-engineering work. They also noticed that engineers who moved into finance were more likely to stay there, but also less likely to start entrepreneurial ventures, which is very fascinating. Some reasons for this might be that their engineering skills had depreciated over time while they're working in a finance field. But the main reason I speculated that somebody in finance would want to stay in finance is because you can make a lot of money. So when you just think about that, there's really no reason for them to switch into a different field. Furthermore, the engineers who went to more elite schools schools were more likely to end up moving into finance than those from less competitive schools. This makes a lot of sense to me. If you look at any investment banking job or internship, you'll notice that there are hundreds of applicants for only one position. In finance, and honestly in lots of other fields like engineering or teaching, it can be extremely difficult to get hired unless you know somebody in the industry. So I would like to think that kids from elite schools are more likely to be well connected through their parents or through the people around them who are well connected from their parents. And generally speaking, these engineers might be surrounded by finance kids who the hedge funds and banks are all trying to hire because they only hire from elite schools. Now, this being said, finance is generally not a very likely place for engineers to end up, but there's also not an insignificant number of students going into finance. And I would think that some of the obvious justifications for hiring a computer science or engineering graduate is that they've learned different ways to apply their knowledge, solve problems, work under pressure, and the last one being especially crucial for investment banking. This honestly brings up a really good point of how investment banking is just brutal. If you've gone online and looked up some of the first year analyst surveys from places like JP Morgan or other big like banks and hedge funds, it's crazy how many hours these first year analysts end up working at a hedge fund. I think that investment banking is probably one of the most overworked careers because the learning curve is so freaking steep to get into investment banking. And on top of that, the workload is just absolutely insane because you're crunching super hard to try to meet deadlines so that you can get basically a, a huge commission for making a company public or for doing a successful merger or whatever else the project might be. But oftentimes you will work for weeks and weeks and weeks competing with other banks and hedge funds to try and get a deal with a company. And sometimes you will do all of that work and the company won't even accept your analysis and you won't get the deal for your bank. Investment banking is very much a high risk, high reward kind of field. And if you're in the right place at the right time, your reward can be insanely high. Another reason that a hedge fund manager might want to hire an engineer is because engineers have a crazy workload at school and they're kind of used to taking on a lot of different things. In investment banking, you're really focusing on just one or two things at a time, but within in those one or two things there is so much to get done and engineers generally speaking would have that kind of crazy work ethic needed to actually get it done and work the 80 hours a week and lastly another great reason why a hedge fund manager might hire an engineer is because they're pretty good at mathematics generally speaking they have great analytical mindsets and a much higher level of mathematic knowledge than your average finance or commerce graduate so in many cases the best people to fill out roles where you're doing lots of data analysis and statistical type roles would be engineers or more specifically mathematicians. So now that you know some of the reasons why an investment banker might want to hire engineers and how crazy investment banking as a career can be, how can you get hired into investment banking as an engineer? Well, right off the bat, I'm gonna say that it will take a lot 
of deliberate hard work on your part to learn what you need to know because finance is not exactly the easiest field out there, especially not when it comes to making analysis of companies, diving deep into their different accounts and statements to make a good presentation. There are so many different things you need to know relating to finance, accounting, and commerce in general to be a good analyst. So my recommendation for an engineering student would be to go online, try to do some learning, learn about finance and accounting basics, and then work your way up to do different analyses. And if you can, join a club or a team that does investment banking at your school. I actually joined one in my second year. There are tons of opportunities to practice these skills, but the single thing that will help increase your chances of getting a job at an investment bank is networking with people in the industry. Go to your major like metropolitan city hub. Let's say it's New York. Let's say it's San Francisco. Let's say it's Toronto. Go to wherever all of the finance people are and talk to them. Go on LinkedIn, send them a message, ask them to go to coffee and have a conversation with them. Just talk. It's a great way to get to know people and that's really the only way you're gonna end up getting a job. So if you can get an internship at an investment bank for one of your summers, that's an amazing start. And if you perform well, you can get hired when you graduate. So those are kind of the steps that you would have to take if you wanted to do something finance related as an engineer, computer science, or mathematics major. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Whoosh.